everybody's doing Donald. Ah, ah, ah. Not that Donald, the Donald. I was fantastic. The ratings were huge. And we're not just talking professional comedians like Kyle Dunnigan. Gandhi. Loser. Mother Teresa. Idiot. Jesus Christ. Hippie loser. Non-comedians likewise can't resist doing Trump. Rosie's a loser. She's been a loser for a long time. Even presidential candidate Rand Paul made a lame effort at imitation. You know, I must be smart. I'm rich. <laughs> While actor Brian Cranston barely bothered with the voice. I actually like his candor. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm a winner, you're a loser. One of the most memorable Trump impressions actually helped fuel the Rosie Donald feud. Oh, yes. There he is, hair looping to him. Everyone deserves a second chance. Impersonators have even posted how-to videos. You, know, you always see those bottom teeth, those bottom front teeth. He's always... Some limit themselves to the Donald's face. Max, make your Donald Trump face. The Donald doesn't seem to mind being imitated. He's even mentioned a couple of impersonators he finds funny. For instance, Daryl Hammond. I'll tell you who would be a loser on any team, that Sasquatch Rosie O'Donnell. Trump also likes Frank Caliendo. I'm so excited, I think my hair just moved, really. While Conan shows impersonator John D. Domenico. I'm Donald Trump. To do the voiceover on a bit featuring the Donald Trump ovulation kit. You call that ovulating, you're a loser. Your eggs are losers. But this baby's a winner. Choice. Sure after being egged on to give Donald Trump lip. Genimo, CNN, <laughs> New York.